in Papua New Guinea will complete the transformation of its Kina currency and introduce an entirely new banknote series into full circulation. We've undertaken the transformation of our currency from all paper notes. We became uh, the first uh, country outside of Australia to move to Polymer. And of course, working with uh, Note Printing Australia has been a, a very successful partnership for, for us. The relationship with Bank of Papua New Guinea uh, goes back a long way. And Bank of Papua New Guinea started introducing a Polymer circulating bank note in 1991. Pleasingly, Note Printing Australia was the printer on that polymer banknote, being the pioneer in polymer banknote printing. So it's a long-standing, very, very special relationship and one that Note Printing Australia is very proud of. One of the things that Bank was looking for at the time was to ensure the notes lasted longer than paper notes. The handling of banknotes in Papua New Guinea, people just squeeze them and to put them in their pockets and all that, so those, that it tears out very fast. And being a very tropical country, the rainfall in Papua New Guinea is plentiful, so um, paper has been a very difficult one. With the polymer, the plastic withstands those kind of conditions. In around 2014, the bank wanted to reform their currency. Now, there were two key objectives of this project, to rebuild the size of the notes to be common in their height but also introducing new security features. We had earlier a lot of confusion on the size of the, the bank notes because they're all the same, both in width and length. So people now can tell the difference between what's a two kina compared to what a hundred kina is. When they were all the same, it was very, very difficult. The resizing is all around um, its uh, efficacy in the, in the field and its ability to be sort of more efficiently managed by cash handling devices, ATMs and, and vending machines and so on. To address the issue of um, counterfeiting, we have to work together with our counterparts of now Printing Australia to come with a lot of security features that makes it complex for counterfeiters to copy or counterfeit our uh, banknotes. Since we moved to Polymer, we have no cases of any counterfeits. The lower denominations have got a feature called OVI. It's an optically variable link that changes color depending on the angle of view. But the higher denomination, which, which are 50 and 100 kina, the Bank of Papua New Guinea wanted to introduce a new feature, better than the feature introduced for lower denomination. So we introduced for the very first time at No Printing Australia a feature called Spark Live True Spin. It's a, uh, a screen printed feature. Uh, the feature is a color shifting ink. So you'll see on this series it's applied to the window. So combining the spark feature with a clear window as we've done for this series, um, it adds a layer of uh, complexity uh, that's very, very difficult to counterfeit. With the introduction of the new security features, PNG continue to have one of the most secure, durable banknote series in the world. Uniting the people is very important. We see currency as a uniting factor. And by bringing in some of those um, traditional features of each of the different regions, to have them in on a, a note that is circulating around, people can reflect back on it and feel being of one country. Note Printing Australia feels very privileged to be able to provide banknotes to the people of Papua New Guinea that display their culture and heritage, not only to them, but to the rest of the world. The smaller denominations featured all the cultural addresses from different regions of Papua New Guinea. In a lot of cultural shows or festivities, people get into those headdresses, traditional costumes, and perform different ceremonies. On the front of the banknote, you have the parliament plus the national crest. And Parliament is where all our leaders come together to make decisions on the country. The National Crest portrays a bird of paradise, which is a very unique bird found in Papua New Guinea. We use it also on the national flag, so that's how important that bird of paradise is. And it's sitting on a kundu drum with a spear. The kundu drum is a very common instrument that we use for our traditional festivities.
The spear symbolizes a lot of things about survival for our people. So I think it uh, brings together, or together with a better prize, the, the symbol of unity for the country. From the Tukina all the way up to Tukina, you see a lot of these traditional costumes from different parts of uh, or regions of Papua New Guinea. From 50 Kina, the most important feature of that one is the founding father of the nation, which is uh, Michael Sumare. And then, of course, the 100 Kina is the one that we want to portray a transformation of the economy from the traditional economy to a very modern, high-tech economy. The design process uh, starts with uh, the commercial department uh, acting as an advocate for the customer, bringing the scope of work to our design team. The first step is to take what the customer is asking us, overlay that requirement with the standing design and, and the technical requirements, and we look at the most effective way to, uh, to introduce the new features uh, without compromising any of the existing. So a conceptual design is to express to the customer graphically what they've asked for in words generally. And the customer will then um, sign off on that, on that proxy from that approval step, the artwork is generally uh, securitized, so we, we build the uh, security screens, the patterns, the production artwork, and it's that artwork that then transitions into manufacturing. The QC department is a department that really polices quality uh, over the other activities. Um, so QC are supporting uh, what we call in-process quality checks, so they're supporting the printers and the print team around uh, quality checks whilst the job is running. Um, they're supporting the, uh, what we call the single note inspection process right at the tail end of the, the production process when the notes are being quality assured at a single note level. We feel with customers such as P&G, long-standing customers, we have a, a strong sense of duty to give them you know, the best value and, and the highest quality and security uh, back notes that we can. Everybody at No Printing Australia feels very privileged to have been involved in this recent upgrade of the Kina currency and we look forward to continuing the journey with the Bank of Papua New Guinea and the people of Papua New Guinea. As the Minister for APEC, I'd like to personally congratulate the Bank of Papua New Guinea celebrating 45 years of serving our country and our people and coinciding with APEC 2018.